So today we're out here. I flipped that camera just in time, buddy. He's taking a poop. Y'all wanna see? Yeah. I'm gonna put your poop on YouTube, dude. And we're out here. The Tops Operator 7. And uh, it's a Leo Espinanza design. I know. I know Joe X destroyed it. And I understand. You know, it's it's really not it's not a bushcraft knife. It's a fighting knife. And personally, I don't use knives on metal. You know, like, cool for Joe. I know he does. But, uh, you know, I, we're, we, like, really just try to emulate what we're going to do out here. Um, it's not a bushcraft knife either. It's not a bushcraft knife. It's a fighting knife. That's all it is. Like, if it'll break off in a chest plate, I'd have a problem with it. But uh, we're not going to find that out today, hopefully. Not yeah, not uh, not something I'm I'm planning on doing. You never know how it goes, right? <laughs> now, uh, true story, you know, my sidearm today is uh, Chris Reeve and Kosi, the modified. It used to be an Insingo blade. Now, you know, like while we're walking to our spot, I'll tell you a quick story about that. But uh, well, anyway. I got attacked by an eagle one time and I had to shove this knife down the eagle's throat open and I had to follow that eagle around for seven weeks until it made it all the way through its digestive tract. He lived. I mean, he, you know, good story, you know, like a uh, happy ending kind of, you know, because he lived and he pooped it out and, uh, I was about to get my knife back and he turned on me and tried to attack me. But then I had to chop his little head off with the Operator 7. We got a tangled up mess of vines. All kinds of different vines. Courtney's going to hold the camera. We didn't bring any tripods, no props. Let me see if I can get through some of this stuff. Alright. How about this one right here? Green. So I bet it's strong, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Real green. Ooh, it went through. What's this Chinese blade piece of shit? <laughs> it says it's made in America. Yeah. Go ahead and tell them. Pee Wee Herman's glory hole. Yeah. Good tip tester. <laughs> Smells funny. <laughs> you call that a Vaughn? That's a Vaughn. Pretty good chunk out of that two by four. Yeah, it's not going to be the best chopper. It, it, you know, the recurve does help, but like you know, it's it, it just slides forward in your hand, and you do got a choke up here. But when you do that, you take the weight distribution and you kind of move it back. You kind of need that that weight forward. So, but it don't have the right kind of skills for no, for I gripping mean, like, it. When you grip it like that, you're you're bringing the weight the weight way back. Not the best chopper, but it works. You could you know, use it if you had to, yeah. But it's not going to be its forte. Right. That's John Holmes' glory hole. <laughs> <laughs> no holding phones and throwing knives at the same time. Nope. <laughs>
Real Foot State Park. Beautiful out here, West Tennessee. Get a chance, see it once. Oh yeah. yeah. Perfect. Making a ton and stick. Oh. go. Oh, still got a little bit left over. Just get some bark. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we won't let that Just some scenery. He's gonna do camp at all. I just piss on everything, it's mine. <laughs> it's birch or something. It's real easy, ain't it? Very easy. Maybe it ain't birch. I don't know. Very easy bark to. Soft wood. Yeah, it's so it is soft wood. Kind of satisfying. <laughs> it's not pine. No. But I don't know what it Definitely is. Definitely not the right type of bark for pine. It may be cypress. Whatever it is, it's soft. Yeah. You gotta. Trade places with me. Okay. Ready. Oh. Yeah, it's like peeling a potato. It really is. <laughs> yeah. Somebody will know what kind of wood this is. It definitely doesn't. A&W fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, somebody. There's a little knot there. But this thing will stay on the tree. <laughs> Having yeah. trouble with that side. That's like peeling a potato. Or a carrot. <laughs> and the knife is sharp. You know, like it's it's not it's not a dull knife, but it's uh, you know, like the wood is helping out a lot. Yeah. But it'll chop through vine. There we go. It'll clear those knots out. It'll make a walk of stick. It'll uh, make a baton. You know, it'll take trees down. It does things we need it to do. Yeah. It's uh, you know, it was a camp knife, not by, but Did it's you uh, you yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, you got anything to say? No, I like this wood. <laughs> you like the wood, huh? What do you think oh, about the knife? That smells good. It smells good, but it doesn't smell like pine. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, <clears throat> I, it's pretty easy to use, it's comfortable. I, I haven't chopped with it, like, yeah. So, well, so we can uh, uh, we can do a little bit of that if you want. No, that's okay. I seen you, you struggling with it. I, I, I'll take your word for it. It wasn't really <laughs> a struggle, it's just there's there's handles out there that are easier to hold on to yeah this is real slick it's not it's slick it's wide it's a it's a big old comfortable yeah. handle but it's not it's it's more of a penetrator since it's uh and it doesn't have anything to stop your finger back here no there there's no stopping you know we may be able to reshape the handle a little bit jed's place with some machines yeah like i think that'd be kind of cool yeah. i really do like add, the choke up add some some height back here to where when you are chopping yeah, Your hand ain't sliding off the back of it. Yeah, we can put a little wheel right here, you know, yep. and just kind of concave it mm -hmm. or contour it or whatever. Yeah, a little bit. But I, um, I like the knife, man. I really do. I, I'm. I like the weight on it. I completely understand, you know, that there's uh, there's issues with uh, the, the the seven with when it comes to like, um, Joe, 
you know, he broke it in several different pieces. But Not, Joe breaks everything. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, what, that's Joe's job, you know, <laughs> is to break everything. And you can break any knife you want to. Um, I, I, I've got lots of faith in this knife. Yeah. Um, another knife that would be about, about the same size that I would like to experience at some point. It's a Little Evil Fighter by Zeke Minacho. That's a, a work tough gear. About the same size. Yeah. Anyway, um, we will lay out some knives on the dirt for size comparison. But uh, you, other than that, you guys have a great one. Okay, a very uh, unconventional size comparison, but that is a Topps Operator 7 there in the middle with the 6R EXF01 below it. A Hornbeak Kukri, uh, the Summit Commander is what it's called, above it. And above that's the Work Tough Gear Famine. Below the 6R Hogue EXF01, there's a Benchmade Adamas fixed blade. And below that is another Hornbeak um, Constrictor. And below that, Spider Co. Team, a Mule Team knife. All right, you guys have a great one. We'll catch you on the flip side.